everybody. Joseph, Green Mountain Gold Chap, got hung with me. <laughs> As always, and she's shaking her head. <laughs> so I'm going to get back underwater today at the Redneck Hookah suction hand dredge bucket with all the hose and tips and all that stuff. My backpack, classifier, pans, you name it. 30 pounds of dive weight, suction hand dredge, my bucket, my gold trap, and my wetsuit, which I still need to squeeze into. Then we're getting underwater. Catch you in a bit.
Look who showed up. <laughs> we went over. I fired it around over there with Adam. We moved a bunch of boulders, set up a dam over in there because there's a mammoth bedrock trap over in there. As a matter of fact, it's one of my videos. Maybe I'll post a link to it in, in this video. And trying to relocate that. There's a lot of heavy, heavy black sand over there. Very granular black sand. I did run for a little while over there and I got you know, about 15, 20 minutes, I got six pieces out of my clean out. So I didn't do a whole lot down here. It's getting really difficult. I'll take you down in a second and show you just how much of a pinch it's turning into. It's hard to get rocks out of there. They're lodged in really, really hard. It makes me mad because I know there's going to be gold in the bottom of that sucker. But I don't know. It's just getting really hard to get your hand in there and get rocks out. So I'll take you down and show you. So there you have it folks, we ended up right here looking in these little pockets. But as you can see it's getting to be a real pinch down there. And those little rocks and beggar rocks, they're lodged in something fierce. It's just really hard to get your hand, I mean you're, you're working sideways and those stupid goggles I have, they keep taking on water. So I don't know, it makes me mad, I know the gold's down there. I just know it is, but if I can't get it, nobody else is going to get it right now either, so time will tell, but you see how it went right up and around that corner, and there's a bowl over there as well. There's a lot of big boulders in it right now. It's where the water's coming down off. I brought you up in there as well and went around the corner. That I could dig out some and get those boulders out of the way. That wouldn't be a problem. I've worked that before. So, I can't remember how far back I went. That boulder up there, I remember, before this all changed. Those two boulders right there have always been there. They didn't move, that hasn't changed. But relocating stuff down here since this all took place has been really, uh, <laughs> really kind of interesting. I have to go back in old videos and look at things and then come here and hope I can keep it in my mind. But anyway, 
We'll get back to you in a bit here. I don't have a tripod, so I'm not going to shoot anything over there. But definitely show you what we get at the end of the day. I'm going to go over and get some gold now. Now we're still at it. Got quite the hole going over there now. <laughs> Take a walk over. This is that other bedrock hole right in here. I'm quite a ways. Alright, I'm going to do a clean out now, but I don't think I'm done yet, so I'll let you know at the end of the day. Alright, everybody. It was not a very good gold day, uh, not even enough to really show you. I got 32 pieces total today, <laughs> but that's prospecting for you. You got to dig to get the areas you're looking for and, well, maybe there's gold in the overburden, maybe there's not, but anyway, so I thank you all for watching and uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow we're going to go to the private property. That'll be a different story. We'll get some gold tomorrow. We'll catch you later.